We've talked about your computers being connected to each other, but how? What's the relationship between all of these computers to each other? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we're gonna find out about topologies. How are my devices connected to each other? There's actually a little bit of a shape to it, if you will. So all of the devices we've talked about from your phone to your laptop, to the internet, to all devices connected together, they connect in what's called different topologies. Here's the easiest one maybe to understand for now to start, is a star topology. So for example, you right now are watching this video. Let's say you're doing that over Wi-Fi. You are connected to uh, an access point, or you may call it a router, that's okay. You are connected to that. Is anyone else connected to that right now? Likely, yes whether it's your neighbor stealing it or it's you know just a friend or you have multiple people in the family in your dorm uh, or in your business, multiple people are connected to that central point. Now, if you tip that on its side, you think that central point has a lot of different devices connected to it. Well, that is called a star topology. It's a central device that has multiple devices connecting to it. Now, what's kind of cool is if you think about a star is you can actually have a star off of a star off of a star. So you may have a switch that has multiple access points connected to it. Again, we haven't defined a switch yet. It's just a central box that has lots of cables plugged into it that brings everybody together to, to communicate. Simple enough. So that may actually have multiple devices connected off of it that have their own star off of them. That's okay, each is their own star topology. Another type of topology is a ring topology. Now, these used to be used in businesses where one computer would actually be connected to the next one. So if I'm sitting here, I actually have two laptops in front of me right now. Right now, they are in a star topology. They're both connected back to an access point along with Sam's computer and phone connected to an access point. We're in a star topology. But what if we were in a ring? We would have a cable that goes from here to here, to my phone, to Sam's device, all connected together, one right after the other. And then it actually loops all the way back to this ring. That actually used to happen decades and decades. I got into networking in the 90s and I've still never seen this in person. So we're talking a long time ago. But this ring does actually exist in networking still, but it's for like really big networks. Like think of a city. So pick any major city you can think of. There are these things called fiber rings where you have fiber that runs around the city um, connecting different major areas of the city together. But just understand a ring is very simple. It's a circle. Remember when I say a circle, it's not physically a circle. If you look on a map, right? It could be like weird, but just know that it's the start and the end is the same. But the next one is a mesh network. So a mesh is when one node is used to connect to another. So let's take, remember our access point. It's when one node connects to another that could also serve other devices. So I have a, a star connected to a star connected to a star. That network is called a mesh. The interesting parts of a mesh network are redundancy. So let's just say I have a device, an access point here. Maybe I can get back to the right part of the network, the internet via this node. So I could have a connection from this one to here or a, a, a connection from one to the other. And it can actually choose which one to use. Now we're talking about a really big mesh network you may have heard of. It's called the internet. The original design of the internet was to be a, uh, a network of universities in the beginning and then United States Department of Defense to make sure that if, uh, remember this is Cold War when this was invented, that if one major city or two major cities got blown up by the enemy, then the network would still survive. Think about the internet uh, where Denver, Colorado was the center of a star topology, that the whole United States network went through one location. You blow up one location, everything goes bye-bye. 
So that star topology in a large, large network doesn't really work because you don't want that central failure. So what would happen is the smart people that designed this said, we're gonna have this connect, you know, one connection will be to many, one to many, one to many, one to many. So if Denver, Colorado gets blown up, there's still all these other paths of connections. So a mesh network can be as small as what I have here in my house and in my missile silo, uh, all the way up to the internet was actually designed as a mesh for redundancy, um, for multiple paths to get from one place to the other. Very resilient network. So those are the three types of topologies. Star, which is a central connection. We have a ring, which is multiple devices connected together in a kind of a loop fashion, if you will. And the last is a mesh connection, which the best example that you've ever been on, I've ever been on, is the internet itself. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's keep going.